Hello YouTube, uh, it's Gadget Pilot again. Uh, on this video, we will be landing with a uh, full autopilot. So that means I will be um, controlling my aircraft with uh, vertical speed uh, and uh, and the speed and altitude. I'll show you guys how you can land with uh, full autopilot today uh, right I'm flying to as you can see from here I'm flying to San Diego International Airport today and uh, I'll be using runway 27 as we are having a bit of weather problems here as you can see the visibility is really low and uh, that's how it's going to make uh, this uh, flight really interesting using uh, autopilot okay I'm gonna go ahead and descend now I'm gonna cut down my speed and get ready for uh, landing at San Diego I'll be descending down to 4,000 feet at the moment I'll give it 5,000 feet right. and I'm flying today with an Airbus 330 I'll be using this aircraft for auto landing today. You can use uh, all aircraft for your autopilot landing, which in real life pilots don't uh, normally use full autopilot for landing. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, give it a shot down to the airport at San Diego. That's it. Here we go down. Right guys, I uh, will be back as soon as we are ready for the approach. We'll be getting down to 2,500 feet and uh, I will see you guys in a second. Okay guys, we are almost at uh, San Diego airport and uh, we are ready for our I ILS approach. Uh, like I said, it's really important to use full autopilot when you are on an ILS airport it makes it easier you will see the with the, with the on the localizer it will help you a lot to line up uh, your aircraft with uh, the runway and all that so it's very important to keep in mind to look for an ILS airport you can also you can still do it with uh, without ILS but you just have to be very uh, you have to have full visual of the airport to be able to line up that's it and we are ready to cutting down speed now to 160 knots and flaps 20 Here we are. All right. Starting, uh, getting ready here for the our landing this is it now we're going to descend down to one five four five knots and uh, flaps 25 and flaps 4 right so you can see the localizer now and then we're going to go down to zero Give it a 
Peru. Again, it lags, guys, and it just keeps. Uh, I just keep hitting different buttons here by accident. Sorry. All right, so we are going down here. There's our aircraft going, landing. Let's see the localizer. We need to get a bit to the left. And we need to go down a bit more. You have to keep your eyes here and here. Right, and also before we touch ground at the call out of uh, 10, we should switch everything off and uh, get our throttle to idle so we can land Let's just if we are oh great sorry I didn't see the localizer and we are we are very out of the runway here so guys you just need to play with your vertical speed One. That's it, guys. We have touched down at uh, San Diego Airport. And uh, we're going to go ahead and see our landing here. Let's just see it. Uh, gonna see if you. Temporary views. I'm gonna go ahead and see at the airport what's going on. How did we do this approach? That's it. And here we go. Uh, I did better. I just uh, forgot to keep my eye on the localizer, and we just need to do a few sharp turns to be able to get onto the runway and here we also are uh, a bit late for landing and here's our aircraft gliding down it was a good landing no nope. I could have landed a bit earlier than this but it was very very good let's just go if, go and see if it was uh, smooth Um, 
this is it guys I uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video and uh, if you guys need anything like I said before just give me a text at the bottom of the comment box and uh, I'll be way happy to help everyone look at that come on touch them right my okay, guys just Give a like and uh, subscribe. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye bye.